Hi everyone, I'm Carol Keller. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Illinois in the United States. Coming to you from my usual Tuesday afternoon live on a Wednesday due to Halloween yesterday. I hope everybody was warm and dry. It was very snowy and cold here. I felt bad for all the little ones trick-or-treating, but it is fun to see them all dressed up. So I'm coming to you a day late and I have a Christmas card because we're gonna jump right from Halloween to Christmas. And I've been using this set um, a little bit and I've got an idea for a scrapbook page too, which we're not doing today, but I think that may be next week's project or the week after that. So I haven't done a scrapbook page in a while and I need to do that. So the paper that I'm using or that you can use with this card, I didn't actually use it with the card, but the paper that you can use really works well. So um, I'm gonna turn my camera around right away so that we can get started with today's project. So, so here is today's card and it's a fun fold. So it opens like this, isn't that cute? And it's really not that hard to do. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps. So we'll get started right away with that. So we are starting with actually a regular Knight of Navy card base, typical size that we use. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off that corner. So let me grab my trimmer. So we're gonna cut right from the bottom corner to the top corner here. So we'll put that in the channel, line it up. And I usually start not quite at the edge because sometimes when you have a corner that's sharp like that, it kind of gets messed up. So I recommend starting in the middle. And then this we're not gonna use, that just becomes a scrap. Then we are going to, I have some designer series specialty paper. The first one is distressed gold. We're gonna move that aside for a second. We'll move it this way. And so this we're going to cut from the top left to the bottom right corner. So same thing, we'll put it in the channel. Make sure I have it up here so you can see it. Again, not quite starting at the end. And we'll put that aside and then we're gonna do the same thing. I have some specialty paper. It's called Shining Brightly. You could also use the Oh Holy Night Designer Series paper too. And beware if it's directional. Oh, this one looks pretty good this way, I would say. I don't know that it's necessarily directional, this, this design. But if it is, you gotta be careful of that. Make sure you cut it the right way. And I believe that's all the cutting. So we'll move the trimmer out of the way and bring some of those pieces back. And then I've got a couple other pieces that I cut. I have this first. This is sort of a smaller card base that it's used for this part. And so this is cut at three and a half by eight and a half and you score it at four and a quarter. So then that's our little inside card. And then we have layers for that as well. For the inside of it, I'm using wild wheat and that's gonna go right in here. So, and then I have some more of the distressed gold for the outside. These are both the same size. They are three and a quarter inches by four. And actually I can put, I can start assembling. I'm gonna put this on the inside right away with my stamp and seal. And if you are nervous about stamping and making a mistake, you could stamp on this first and then put it on the inside. And maybe I'll do it with this just in case because we're actually going to be doing some embossing on the outside. So maybe I'll do that. For these, okay, the first thing we're gonna do is adhere these together like this. So again, I'm just gonna use my seal for that. I actually, I am gonna use my multi-purpose liquid glue because it may need just a little bit of repositioning. So let's use the glue. Because the more exact you are, the more centered you can get it, the better it looks. It's Then it's squared off the right way. I have had issues when I've made cards like this in the past like even this, if it's a little crooked, then your lines are off. So I think that's pretty good. Do the same thing with the other one. So you know me, as much as I don't like the mess of the glue, there are times when it's definitely the adhesive that you want. So we'll line up the other one. All 
right. And then what we're going to do is put one over here and the other one on the front of the card. So I am going to do the same thing again. I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue. Same thing, just line it up about like that. And then last but not least, we'll do the front. Makes it easier to work with. And one more time with the glue. And we'll position it, actually a little bit, probably easier to do it like this. That looks pretty good. And what we'll do is we'll stamp the inside first. So I've got Knight of Navy for that. And the inside sentiment comes from the Brightest Glow stamp set. To you and yours this Christmas. So ink that up. Just making sure I've got good coverage here. I'm gonna move that over. And stamp it right here. Beautiful. And so that's all we need the Knight of Navy for. And I didn't do the envelope, but I would recommend using uh, probably this paper for the outside, the back flap of the envelope, since the stamps, both of the stamp sets I'm using just have sentiments, just have words. So we'll move that aside. And then now the fun begins. We are gonna bring in the old Holy Night stamp and some Versamark. Get some good, good coverage. You wanna make sure you have good ink coverage. And actually, before we actually put it on, stamp it on here, I'm gonna use my embossing buddy to make sure there's no static or anything. We'll wipe that on there like that. And that just will help keep stray pieces of um, embossing powder from making a mess. And we're gonna put this right about here. Press it to get, make sure it transfers well. And you won't be able to see it on camera because honestly, I can't even see it, but the magic will begin when we bring in our, the rest of our embossing tools. So I'm gonna move the tweezers and the brush out of the way. Got some black embossing powder. And we're just gonna put it on like that and put it mostly right back in. Make sure we've got coverage everywhere because that's really important. And then I always flick it with my finger, but that looks good. I don't see any stray ink. If I did, I would use the brush for that. But I am going to cover this for now, and we're gonna take, um, I'm gonna take the rest of this and put it back in here, but I'm not gonna do that now. And we'll move this aside. We will probably use the tweezers though. Why not? Let's make sure we don't get burned. And I'm gonna bring in my heat tool. And I've got to be careful because it can <laughs> melt my top here. So I'm going to move it up some. And the first one that you do takes a few seconds longer. But once the tool is heated up, the embossing goes faster. So I'm doing it until I see that glue or that uh, embossing powder melting on here and getting shiny. Which I think it is. Let's see. Yep, that looks pretty good. Just making sure every section has been heated and melted. Make sure I get those edges. But it really just does take a few seconds for that. And you don't want to overdo it because you don't want to burn anything. That can happen too, but I think that looks good. All right, I love embossing. I love watching the magic happen. And then, now we're just gonna assemble. So to assemble this, you just want to be careful that when you put this on, it doesn't interfere with the flap, with the opening and closing of the flap. So you're going to have it more toward the top. You're not going to have it centered. You're going to have it more toward the top. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to put some stamp and seal on the back. So we want to center it toward the top. And before I actually press it, I'm gonna make sure my flap will close, yes. So you wanna make sure it doesn't interfere right here at the corner. And that looks good. So the only thing we have to do is put this on. 
And we're also going to I have a die cut from the Night Divine uh, set of dies. So the Night Divine stamp set and the dies, you can get them as a bundle and they're 10% off. So I just cut it out in Night of Navy and I'll show you everything at the end because we're actually almost done. Once you prep everything, it goes pretty quickly. I'm just putting some of my seal on the back. You could use glue dots. You could use your multi-purpose liquid glue. And we're going to put that toward the bottom. Perfect. So it doesn't interfere with the sentiment. And then, yep. You can feel all that texture from the embossing powder or the embossing that we did. And then this will go on the uh, front of the card. Just going to center it over that little flap. And then last but not least, we have the star tr uh, trinkets, I think they're called. Yes, adhesive backed star trinkets. And I'm just going to use my fingers because they're so big. Slide that off. And we'll put it up here, I think. Whoops. About like that. And that is it. That is our card. What do you think? Pretty easy. And I think very elegant. I really had fun playing with these supplies. So let me show you what I used. Like I said, the Brightest Glow stamp set and the Night Divine stamp set only have sentiments. So this is Brightest Glow. Season's Greetings got good sentiments for the outside and the inside of your card. And even Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas. I've used this one a lot too. And then Night Divine is meant to pair, like I said, with the dies, which I'll show you. So some really big sentiments. And I, I toyed with the idea of just putting a sentiment on the front just using something like this but i really had to use that because i loved it so those are the stamp sets and then for the dies here are the dies so there is i'm working on actually another card that uses more of these but this is the one that i used for the silhouette here and i'm using another i'm making another card where i'm doing trying to do them in different colors and you may see that next week most likely but some other animals and some clouds so a good companion not only to that but to some fantastic designer series paper and i'm gonna bring it here to show you so this is the paper and when looking at this and i don't have it do i have it handy let me see i have it handy but i don't know if i have enough i guess i do i was gonna say i don't know if i have all the sheets to show you but i think i do all the different ones so i'm gonna pull those out i almost used this or even the top of this or this one for the background and you certainly could but, you know, here is more of a scene. This I love, too, is more of a scene. I think I'm going to maybe use that one for a scrapbook page. We'll see. But this one would work also. To, so I'm going to think about that and work on that. And then these are the patterns on the other side. I really like that paper. And this is what I used today. So I used this one. You could also use the stars. Actually, I thought about that, and I think I grabbed this one by mistake, but then I liked it, so then I ended up using it, but that would work too. And that's the Shining Brightly Specialty Designer Series paper. So I think that is everything. Oh, and I used, that's right, the Distressed Gold. Let me show you that. It looks like this. That's what I used for this. And you could also use, there's gold foil paper in the annual catalog, and that's where you'll find that one, and either one of those would work. So those are the supplies plus those cute little star trinkets, which I think are out of stock right now, but they're coming back in, I want to say in two weeks, maybe a week and a half or so, something like that. So that's it. What do you think? Sue says, very elegant. Thanks, Sue. I know I, I was making this fold for, um, cause I work with a group and we create a PDF. So if you are interested, reach out to me and you can have access to that PDF. So it's got the same fun fold design and it has just all different card ideas. So people could use whatever stamp sets they wanted. Oh, and I just realized, let me grab my take your pick tool. There's a piece in here that doesn't belong. That's supposed to get cut out. <laughs> there we go. Now it's perfect, right? <laughs> um, 
but anyway, so reach out to me about that. Thanks so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Happy stamping.